Revelation 21, And I saw a new heaven, and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And the building of the wall of it was of jasper, and the city was pure gold like unto clear glass. Shalom, I would like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashan Yahweshah, Bashan Makakadash, the minor set of apostles and elders of Green Millstone, and salutations to the whole full light scattered abroad of the four corners of the earth. So, it's been reported that Uganda has discovered $12 trillion worth of gold in the land. And actually, I found out about the news through Elder Apostle Tahar. And so, one of the first thoughts that popped up in my head was Revelation chapter 21. You know, it speaks about how the kingdom of heaven and New Jerusalem will be made of gold. And, you know, it's interesting how the Most High has it set up to where a precious metal such as gold comes from the earth. And so if you ask me, I believe that the gold that's been discovered is for the elect. It's going to be for the elect. And so just to paint the picture even more clearer, the United States is trillions of dollars in debt. And Uganda found $12 trillion worth of gold in the land. So that's a lot of gold that they discovered. So let me just pull up an article real quick. This article is from Nas Dick. So I'm just going to jump right into it. U Uganda on Wednesday said recent exploration surveys have shown it has gold ore deposits of about 31 million tons and it wants to attract big investors to develop the sector helped Hilarto dominated by small wildcat miners. Over the last two years, aerial exploration was done across the country followed by geophysical and geochemical surveys and, and analysis. Solomon Mayada, spokesperson for the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Development told Reuters. Mayada said an estimated 320,158 tons of refined gold could be extracted from 31 million tons of ore. Most of the deposits were discovered in Karamaja, a parched sprawling area in the country's northeastern country on the border with Kenya. Large reserves were also found in eastern, central, and western areas of the East African country. So I'm not going to read any more of this article. This is Isaiah 61 and 6. But ye shall be named the priest of the Lord. Men shall call you the ministers of our power. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory shall ye boast yourselves. So, 
in the kingdom of heaven when Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, when he makes his return, that's when the world is going to be set in order and the kingdom of heaven is going to be established upon the face of the earth. And so all the wrong that's been done unto the nation of Israel, which consists of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, is, is, is going to be recompensed, all right? The nation of Israel is going to get its just due, and all the nations that have done wickedly unto the nation of Israel, they're going to get paid back, all right? The scriptures say you reap what you sow, and the top nation that's, that's going to get paid back, all right, is the nation of Edom, the Edomites, For your shame ye shall have double, and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land they shall possess the double, everlasting joy shall be unto them. And so in the kingdom of heaven, the nation of Israel is going to be a rich, blessed nation. All right? The scriptures say that the whole earth was created for Israel's sake, all right? And so the riches that the Gentiles and the other nations have, guess what? They're going to give it to the, to the nation of Israel. For I, the Lord, love judgment. I hate robbery for burnt offering, and I will direct their work in truth and will make an everlasting covenant with them. And think about all the wrong that's been done unto the nation of Israel. The scriptures say that the nation of Israel is a nation that's been robbed and spoiled. And all you got to do is look back at history. And you can even see what's going on today. And so the Most High is getting ready to bless the nation of Israel. You understand? And the Most High is only dealing with the nation of Israel. Verse 9. And their seed shall be known among the Gentiles, and their offspring among the people. All that see them shall acknowledge them, that they are the seed which the Lord has blessed. So with that, Shalom.